Welcome back to Westmoreland on the Gridiron, and we are so excited to be joined right now by our Week 3 Westmoreland Sports Network Player of the Week. He is Peyton Moulter, senior quarterback of the Jeanette Jayhawks. Peyton last week went 8-for-8 eight for, eight for 153 yards, three touchdowns, plus a rushing touchdown in the Jayhawks' win over the Frazier Commodores. Jeanette now 3-0, and or excuse me, 3-1, and coming into this week's game against Charleroi. Uh, Peyton, thank you so much for taking some time out of your, your busy night to join us. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me about the win over Frazier, Peyton. What led to your offensive explosion against the Commodores? It was, it was the week leading up. It was all the practices, film study and everything. We just we knew what we could do and target their defense, and we did it and executed well. You know, over the last few years, I know your team has been on the wrong side of a few of those scores. Um, how did it feel to win the game comfortably the way that you did against Frazier? It always feels good to win like that. We have a group of seniors that was there for when all the transfers happened, and it's a good group. Past two years, all the adversity we went through, and just to come out and be able to put up the amount of points we are this year, it's it's awesome. So I mentioned you threw three touchdown passes. You also had a touchdown run. Is there any one touchdown that sticks out to you? Which one did you like the best? And could you kind of take us through that play? It was definitely my rushing one. It was a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And well, my teammate Nick Stuchel, he caused the fumble, and I just saw the ball on the ground, and I picked it up and moved as fast as I could to the end zone. That's definitely one of the most that stuck out during that game. There's nothing quite like a pick six or a scoop and score, right? No, nothing like it. Now, you threw two touchdown passes uh, to Jeremiah Williamson, who had a massive day, four catches, 102 yards. What it kind of impresses you about Jeremiah as a younger player, and how did your connection come together last Friday? It was it was the week leading up. There was a lot of kids sick, so we just had he, me, and him were there the whole practice. So we had a lot of connection time. But he's just his athleticism, his size, and he's just intimidating. He's a good player. Now, I again, you, you've experienced some lean years at Jeanette. Obviously, I think were, were you a freshman uh, when the team played in the state championship? Yeah, that was my freshman year. That was your freshman year. Okay. Um, obviously, a great season there, and then you went through. You mentioned the transfers and, and everything that you, that you've went through. But you're off to a three and one start this year, and and the game that you lost was a really good performance against East Allegheny. What's it like being three and one and playing the type of football you are right now? It's awesome. It, it's reminding me of back to freshman year, just getting back our winning streak and everything. It's it just there's nothing better. Now I, I, you've been asked this before, I'm sure. You know, 21 players on the roster, or at least healthy. It's is it is it kind of strange at all? I mean, do you have pride playing with like the small roster with with the way you guys are playing? Uh, definitely playing bigger schools with 21 kids and they're up to what 50 40 kids i mean it's it's awesome just to be able to go out there and compete with all, all them it, we got we got a roster full of great players have you noticed it being a challenge at all yet i know you guys are staying healthy knock on wood for you i promise this is made out of wood i'm knocking on it for you um but ha have you noticed it being challenging at all or are you guys just riding through it it's a little challenging some practices we only 13, 14 kids there. So it's not, we can't get a good game plan going, but it's a little challenging going practice. But once the game comes, everyone's there, everyone's healthy. So it's, it's good. Coach Pallone has done a, a wonderful job since taking over last year. I'm sure he'd agree with that. What, what do you enjoy most about playing for Tom Pallone? Just his energy during practice, during games. He's a great coach. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's just a great guy. I mean, there's nothing much I can say about that. What is your best attribute as a football player? Like if someone asked you, what do you think you do best? What, what would you, what would your response be? Uh, I play my heart out, both, both sides of the ball. We're a small team. I play both ways and I just play till the whistle's blown. I mean, I, I play with my heart in, in every game. So talking with Peyton Moulter of the Jeanette Jayhawks, our player of the week, Peyton, I, I want to ask you about something incredibly gracious you, you're doing right now. Uh, Lisa Friscarelli, a, a member of or Friscarella, excuse me, a member of the Jeanette community right now is fighting cancer. You pledged to make a twenty dollar donation to her GoFundMe for every touchdown that you score this year. An incredible gesture by someone your age pledging your own money. Um, tell us how that kind of came together, how you know Lisa and what kind of gave you the idea to do this. Yeah, uh, Lisa, Lisa's a, her oldest son's great friends with my oldest brother and they, he was always around. So we were always around the family and it was just heartbreaking to hear the news when, um, her oldest son posted it on Instagram. We saw that she had cancer and it was just heartbreaking. I knew I had to do something about it. Just 
help her in any way possible I could. And I knew I love football. So there was any chance I could make it with football, I would have. And that's what I did. I saw, I figured every touchdown I score as a starting quarterback, I'd donate money to her. So, I mean, there was nothing much I, so I, I would do. Well, Peyton, I, I've been really inspired by this, seeing you, uh, again, donating your, your own money to a community member in need and, and someone that has, you know, three kids fighting, you know, against cancer. And um, what we want to do at the Westmoreland Sports Network, we want to match whatever you raise for Lisa for her GoFundMe. So keep scoring those touchdowns. Whatever you raise, we're going to match it. We're going to donate it all to Lisa's GoFundMe. How does that sound? That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's like, thank you. That, that is awesome. actually awesome. A- absolutely, man. I, I, I read your story. Uh, obviously we've talked before, but read your story and it's just incredible that you're doing this. So we want to be, you know, we want to help too. So I, I just think that's great. So let's, let's score a bunch more touchdowns. Okay. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do. So I, I, I want to ask you a little bit more about yourself. You know, would you like to continue playing football in college? Is that something that uh, you're kind of eyeing uh, at the end of the year? Yeah, that's one of my goals. I'm just, I'm waiting on it, but yeah, I definitely want to go and continue my academic career and go play more football. Well, obviously it's a big weekend in Jeanette. Uh, it's Hall of Fame weekend. As, has coach talked to you about, you know, the, the extra things going on this weekend other than the game against Charleroi, or is it just full focus on, on Charleroi? He talked a little bit about it, but I mean, we're, we're focused on going to get another home win right now. What is your focus on the field against Charleroi? What do they do well? What do you guys have to do to come away with a win? They got they got a good offense this year. They have a whole new coaching staff. They got a new head coach, and they got a lot of good returning players. So, I mean, our main focus is going and executing our game plan. Peyton, as always, this was a, a great talk, man. Congratulations on getting that player of the week. And again, good luck to you on Friday. Keep scoring those touchdowns, all right? Dude, thank you. Absolutely. That is Peyton Moulter of the Jeanette Jayhawks. Coming up, we'll preview that game and a whole lot more with our week four preview on Westmoreland on the Gridiron.